we want to start with some new information from Chief White House Correspondent Major Garrett and Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes, who are here. I know you've both been speaking with your sources this morning. And Nancy, what's the latest? Well, Nora, Democrats at this point are very pessimistic that Leader Reid and Leader McConnell in the Senate are going to be able to strike that deal that they were so hopeful about just 24 hours ago. Their two staffs worked late into the night. They traded proposals back and forth, but Democrats tell us that they're just still too far apart on taxes. Democrats want to set that limit at $250,000 or less, let the Bush tax cuts expire for people making more than that. Republicans want that limit to be far higher. They're also very far apart on estate taxes. So Leader Reid and Leader McConnell are going to meet with their caucuses later today. And at that point, we expect that they're going to tell their members that they just weren't able to work out some, a deal on this. Major, you've been talking to the White House. What do they say about this? Well, the fiscal cliff preoccupation has largely been about taxes, but there is another part of the fiscal cliff that is across the board spending cuts. And in ways that the administration simply hasn't before, it is now preparing in very real ways to send out furlough notices, break federal contracts, and apply the sequester, six to seven percent across the board spending cuts across all federal agencies. The White House is preparing to do that. It has to, yes. because the deadline is approaching. It cannot uh, reasonably ignore the law and misapply it. So it is now preparing to send out all a variety of notices to federal contractors. The contract is suspended or canceled, or to tell various agencies, the TSA, FAA, all throughout the federal government, lay people off. This is real because they see the negotiations are not getting anywhere near a deal, and they have to prepare for the cutting side of the fiscal cliff, not just the taxing side. And then, Nancy, if there is no deal, what happens next on Monday? Well, then. Essentially, we move to Plan D, where Senate Democrats introduce their own plan in the Senate uh, that caps the Bush tax cuts at $250,000 or less, extends long-term unemployment benefits, maybe imposes some spending cuts to push off that sequester for six months or a year. And then we see if Republicans allow a straight up or down vote that only requires 50 senators to vote yes, or we, if we have to go to a 60 vote threshold, Democrats think that they can get those seven Republicans they need. Actually, they think they might be able to get up to 10 who have signaled that they could go along with something like this, but that's not the end of the road. Then, even if it passes, they've got to go to the House, and that's a tricky road as well. All right, Nancy and Major, thank you for that new information.